guys have just come out of a really hard year, two years in fact, and it's really hard not to get depressed. Especially when you're a healer and you do best healing and helping other people, especially if you are buying into all the fear of everyone around you. Because people who are intuitive don't pick up just fear. They pick up the fear that's presented in the media, the fear of their neighbors, the fear of their community. And it's really hard to manifest sometimes with so much fear. And, and with fear and being locked up, some of you for so long, you've also got a little bit of depression. And it's really hard maybe to get your hopes up. So we're going to give you two quick exercises that's going to change your mind couple days so that you're ready to manifest here's the exercises first exercise set your clock for every half hour every half hour for two days have that little alarm clock go off for two days every half hour and you need to go up to the creator imagine going up like the way we walked you up and i will walk you up again and thinking about what in your life makes you happy it doesn't have to be more than one thing. It can be two things. Maybe what makes you happy is just maybe for some of you that you have a warm bed to lay your head on and your body, that you'd like to be snuggled in the covers, that you have a family. Maybe some of you have a family that you really love and that you really cherish. Now, maybe you have a cat that you just think is wonderful or a dog that you think is just amazing. Maybe you're really happy that you just had dinner, but think about what makes you really happy every half hour for two days. And it will pull you out of the constant fear or the constant feeling you're being manipulated or the constant feeling you're gonna be sick. It will shift and it will actually shift you to start releasing your serotonin. It will shift you to actually start to balance out your your mind it will actually help you in the releasing of some dopamine it will help you okay just so you know and it's only for two days for two days okay and if you miss it when it goes off in a half an hour think of two things that make you happy when you hear it again two days okay the next exercise is much easier than that twice a day what makes you grateful? Okay, so knowing that we're going to do that, I want you very quickly, if you have a piece of paper and a pen, write down three things that you're grateful for. Maybe you're grateful that your body moves. Maybe you're grateful that you have water. Maybe you're grateful that you have food. But whatever it is, you need to take just a few minutes, just a few seconds while I'm talking, and write down at least two to three things you're really grateful for. Okay, it's really hard to be gloomy and depressed and saying nothing works for you when you have this amazing energy of gratitude. You know, so write down what you're grateful for. Maybe you're grateful that you're gonna manifest what you want. You know, you can write down whatever it is that I'm telling you, it will put you in the right energy to manifest. Twice or twice a day, you add something new to it. You know, and it doesn't have to be a lot. But some of you guys are major overachievers, so the better, the more, the better. So if you can write down ten things, that would be great, and it will start to affect your mind. Let's talk for a second. First of all. The ability to see what is wrong in your world is something that is that we do. It's a mark of intelligence. It, 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 if you know this ain't right, it shows that you can figure that out. So it's not bad, okay? But complaining all the time can bring us really down, make us a little depressed. So we want to actually be able to see there's a few things wrong, but look at the things that are right. And gratitude is so powerful that it will balance you, okay? It's also can pull you down a lot if you gossip all the time. You start to try to bond with people through gossip. It releases oxytocin. It makes you feel better. So sometimes when you're confined to your house, you start to complain. You start to find fault with what everyone is around you. And that's still kind of 
smart for you to be able to see that, but if you're constantly in that energy, it can also make you feel a little down. If you're going to gossip, maybe about somebody, your sister can't believe on how ungrateful she is, maybe you should add one thing that makes her special, but she's a really nice person and you will retrain your mind to start sharing information that is good about others, and that will also help you stay positive. But of course, that you can do and that you don't have to do. We're only working on the two exercises, really simple, every half hour, one thing that makes you happy, and twice a day, at least two things that you're grateful for.